Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from All Russian Mathematical Olympiad, 11th grade, 4th round, 1993, problem number 1. We wish to find all non-negative integers n, such that the sum of digits of 5 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of n. Of course we are talking about decimal system. So it's a nice number theoretic problem, here are my hints. We will use this well-known fact that uh, if k is a positive integer, then k has exactly a floor of decimal logarithm of k plus one digits in decimal system, in decimal representation. It's a well-known fact about uh, the number of digits of any integer. <laughs> and now then try to estimate the sum of digits of 5 to the power of n from above and notice that this inequality, which you get, fails to be true for most integers, so only a few are left to be verified by hand. So give this problem a try. Alright, so I will leave this fact right here. Alright, so I will use this fact, and now let's see. Uh, 2 to the power of n should be equal the sum of digits of 5 to the power of n. Alright, but 5 to the power of n has decimal logarithm of 5 to the power of n plus floor plus 1 digits. And notice that every digit is from 0 to 9. So the most which we can get is 9 times the number of digits. Alright, but now this can be estimated by removing the floor. Because floor of any number is less than or equal to this number. And this equals 9. And we can use uh, one of the laws of logarithms. And we can write 9 times decimal logarithm of 5 times n plus 9. All right. But now I claim the following. My claim is that if n is greater than or equal 6, I claim that the Actually, the inequality is reversed, so 2 to the power of n is actually greater than... Or ma one more thing, one more thing before we make our claim. It can be easily verified or calculated or by hand that this is less than or equal 7n plus 9, to make our lives easier. And I claim that 2 to the power of n is greater than 7n plus 9 or 6 onwards. Proof of my claim. Proof of my claim is the following. By induction, if n equals 6, then 2 to the power of n is 2 to the power of 6, which is 64, while 7n plus 9 is 7 times 6 plus 9. 7 times 6 is 42, 42 plus 9 is 51. 64 is greater than 51. Now, suppose... Let's suppose now that 2 to the power of n is greater than 7n plus 9 for some n greater than or equal 6. Notice that then we have the following. 2 to the power n plus 1 is 2 times 2 to the power of n, which is greater than, by our assumption, 7n plus 9. All right, so it's, uh, and I claim that this is greater than, again, 7n plus 9, plus 1, plus 9. And how to justify this second inequality? Well, notice that this is equivalent to saying that 14n plus 18 is greater than 7n plus 16. And this is, of course, true, because 14 is greater than 7, and 18 is greater than 16. So this is true, and this closes our inductive proof of my claim. Which means, which means that we have to verify, we have to verify only 
n from 0 to 5. And let's do it. Let's do it. If n equals 0, notice if n equals 0, then 2 to the power of n equals 1, and 5 to the power of n is also 1. 1 equals 1. So we have one solution already. If n equals 1, if n equals 1, then 2 to the first, 2 to the power of n is 2, 5 to the power of n is 5, and we don't have equality. If n equals 2, if n equals 2, then 2 to the power of n is 4, 5 to the power of n is 25, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 is not equal to 4. If n equals 3, then 2 to the power of n is 8, 5 to the power of n is 125, and notice that 1 plus 2 plus 5, the sum of digits, equals 8. So we have found another solution. If n equals 4, then 2 to the power of n is 16, 5 to the power of n, 5 to the power of n is 625, 6 plus 2 plus 5 is 13. 13 is not equal to 16, so we don't have any solution. And finally, if n equals 5, then 2 to the power of n is 32, 5 to the power of n is 3125, and if we add the digits, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 is less than 32. So we don't have any other solution. So all in all, in all our equation has exactly two solutions, 0 and 3. So the sum of digits of 5 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of n, if and only if and only if if and only if n is either 0 or 3. And this really closes our problem. We have exactly two solutions. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.